the language of the Quran and the preservation of our identity. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, a scripture whose verses are perfectly explained, a Quran in Arabic for people who understand. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Language is what carries meaning and culture, and it is one of the most important factors for the formation of identity. It is very influential in the building of personality. One who masters two languages will be opened up to two cultures. And he who speaks three languages will have knowledge of three cultures and reads the product of many minds. However, one's mother tongue remain one of the most important factors in shaping his culture. The one who does not grasp the secret of his language cannot realize the essence of a culture of his people or understand its depth. The Arabic language has a great peculiarity. It is a language of the glorious Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. The great miracle of our Prophet وسلم, peace be upon him, was the glorious Quran with its style and its linguistic and its linguistic a rhetorical secrets and its linguistics and rhetorical secrets. The Almighty Allah says a scripture whose verses are perfectly explained, a Quran in Arabic for people who understand, and says, We have sent the Quran. We have sent the Quran in Arabic for people who understand. And said, We have sent the Quran down. And said, We have sent the Quran down in the Arabic tongue. Allah also says, So we have revealed a, an Arabic Quran to you. So we have revealed an Arabic Quran to you in order that you may warn the capital city and all who live nearby and warn especially about the day of gathering of which there is no doubt. Allah also says we have sent down to you people a scripture to remind you will you, will you not use your reason. The glorious Quran makes a connection between Arabic language and the use of reasoning. As Allah said, we have sent it down as an Arabic Quran so that you people may understand. Therefore, the Arabs interact with the Quran as they used reasoning and produced a civilization that cannot be ignored. Allah also make a link between Arabic language and the call for knowledge. As he, the Almighty, said, a scripture whose verses are perfectly explained, a Quran in Arabic for people who understand, urging thereby people to seek knowledge and acquire bity and acquire pity together. Allah also said in this Quran, we have put forward all kinds of illustration for people so that they may take heed. An Arabic Quran free from any distortion so that people may be mindful. No one can deny that it's not possible to understand our religion correctly or derive the Sharia ruling from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, except through the accurate understanding of the Arabic language. 
for the Arabic language is the key to understand religion. Abdullah ibn Abbas said, I did not know what is the meaning of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, praise be to Allah, Fatir, of the heaven and earth, until two Bedouin came to me, urging about a well. And one of them said, I fatartuhu, meaning I originated. So the meaning of the verse is the originator. The meaning of the verse is the originator of the heaven and earth. In fact, scholar of usul al-fiqh and fiqh consider that mastering Arabic language and its tools is one of the most important condition for practicing ijtihad. May Allah bless both Hafiz Ibrahim who wrote a poem speaking about Arabic language saying, I was capable of handling the book of Allah. I was capable of handing, handling the book of Allah, words and concept, and I was not too narrow to handle verses and sermon. That being the case, how would I today be incapable of describing a device and a new inventions? I am the sea. I'm the sea in the depth pearls are hidden. I'm the sea in the depth Barrels are hidden. Have they asked the divers about my shells? Have they asked the divers about my shells? Moreover, no one denied that the lack of knowledge of the Arabic language and its, con its indications, the lack of depth in understanding its text, limiting our understanding to the literal meaning. All this leads to the wrong understanding that may cause one to attack others or kill them. That's why understanding the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, is an obligation. And this is maybe done only through the, through the correct understanding of the Arabic language. Umar ibn Khattab once said, learn Arabic language for it's part of your religion. Once he passed by a group of people who were shooting, but they did not shoot well. He blamed them for that, and they replied, we are educated people. They pronounced the word educated in Arabic, muta'allimin. An accusative case, though the correct form is, the, is to use the nominative case. Omar commended, your grammatical mistake is more heinous than your wrong shooting. Abdul Malik ibn Marwan said, correct your language. A person may borrow clothes or means of transportation, but he cannot borrow the tongue to speak correctly. And the beauty of a man lies in his eloquence. A beauty of a man lies in his eloquence. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the world. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him, his companions and his followers. It goes without saying that the language of the Quran preserves the scholarly heritage of our nation absorbs the elements of its thought and culture throughout history and guarantees the survival of this thought. The existence of nations is dependent on the existence of their language. Nations whose language become extinct lost their culture. That's why caring about language is an, ind an, an indicator that's why caring about language is an indicator of the preservation of identity. Language is the expression of the unity of purpose and unity of thought. A language is the most important cultural cover for any nation or culture. 
Actually, we strongly needed to, abear, to be aware of and resistant to all attempts to dissolve our identity. We need to work hard. We need to work hard to strengthen our civilizational immunity in the face of massive waves of dissolution by caring about the language of the Quran and its key to our identity. To, sh to shresh, it means, and to shresh our identity. And to serve, it means to serve our religion and our nation. May Allah protect Egypt. May Allah protect Egypt from all evils and protect all other countries of the world. Thank you.